Hello there, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be reading a very special book called The Salamander Room. This book is special because it's one of my favorites. In this book, a young boy finds a salamander in the woods, and he decides to build a home for the salamander in his own room. Today, I've brought two special pets with me. These are my birds. They're parakeets. Their names are Archie and Lucy. This is their home that I have built for them in my room. They have a cage, which they like to sit in most of the time, and they have food, water, toys, and a bath to play in. But sometimes I'll open this door and they like to fly around and explore the rest of my room. Let's see how a young boy builds a habitat in his own room for a salamander. The Salamander Room by Anne Mazur, illustrated by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. Brian found a salamander in the woods. It was a little orange salamander that crawled through the dry leaves of the forest floor. The salamander was warm and cozy in the boy's hand. Come live with me, Brian said. He took the salamander home. Where will he sleep? his mother asked. I will make him a salamander bed to sleep in. I will cover him with leaves that are fresh and green, and bring moss that looks like little stars to be a pillow for his head. I will bring crickets to sing him to sleep, and bullfrogs to tell him good night stories. And when he wakes up, where will he play? I will carpet my room with shiny wet leaves and water them so he can slide around and play. I will bring this tree stumps into my room so he can climb up the bark and sun himself on top. And I will bring boulders that he can creep over. He will miss his friends in the forest. I will bring salamander friends to play with him. They will be hungry. How will you feed them? I will bring insects to live in my room. And every day I will catch some and feed the salamanders. And I will make little pools of water on the top of the boulders so they can drink whenever they are thirsty. The insects will multiply, and soon there will be bugs and insects everywhere. I will find birds to eat the extra bugs and insects. And the bullfrogs will eat them too. Where will the birds and bullfrogs live? I will bring trees for the birds to roost in and make ponds for the frogs. Birds need to fly. We can lift off the ceiling and they will sail in the sky. But they will come back to my room when it is time for dinner because they will know that the biggest, juiciest insects are there. But the trees, how will they grow? The rain will come through the open roof, and the sun too, and vines will creep up the walls of my room, and ferns will grow under my bed. There will be a big white mushrooms and moss like little stars growing around the tree stumps that salamanders can climb on. And you, where will you sleep? I will sleep on a bed under the stars, with the moon shining through the green leaves of the tree. Owls will hoot and crickets will sing, and next to me, on the boulder, with his head resting on soft moss, the salamander will sleep. Wow, it sure looked like Brian put in a lot of hard work to make sure that that salamander had the best home possible. Pets can be a lot of hard work because you have to make sure that they have the best home possible. But when they are healthy and happy, they are really fun to have around and you can give them so much love. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Be sure to subscribe and come back next time for another great story. Bye!